Um, for you, can I ask you about Leeds and particularly what you're doing in Mansfield? Is that correct? Yes, um, I'll be delighted to share our experience on that. As you know, uh, Mansfield is an area uh, affected by the closure of mining uh, and uh, what we see in our area is poverty of aspiration, two, three generations of worklessness, low participation, low attainment, and very low progression to higher education. Proportion to need, uh, compared to Nottinghamshire average, we have our fair share again. Mansfield, Ashfield. Um, in Mansfield, we have almost 10.3% of our young people not in education, employment, or training. There are three sets of group within that. Uh, some who have uh, fallen out of the school system since the age of 12. There are some who decided, uh, who left school without any qualifications and didn't progress to, to 16. What we have done, we have uh, a center in Asheville and um, this center was, uh, was used before for administrative purposes and some drop-in skills. There was a great need to identify somewhere where we can capture the interest of these young people who are not really interested, who have developed bad behavior, who have developed bad habit, habits, who can't get out of the bed in order to, to, to be near learning. So we, we uh, converted this center into um, like a vocational workshop. So we have uh, um, a fashion design studio, uh, a hair and beauty salon, a motorbike uh, repair workshop, uh, a motor mechanic workshop, and things like that. And we have worked very closely with the connections, with other youth groups and so on, to identify these youngsters. Two years ago, we had about 68 young people who came through the door. There is a particular ethos, ethos in this center where self-discipline, self-respect, we offer free cooked breakfast to all our young people. So, and for a lot of them, this is the only and the main meal of the day. People feel safe by being at the center. And from the caretakers to the in charge, whoever the in charge is of the center, it's about challenging, but supporting and nurturing, not allowing these people to use bad language, but bringing their self-confidence by providing this particular uh, ethos. What we have seen in the first year, uh, out of 68, we retained 49, and all of them progressed to either level two to level three uh, and in, in employment. In the next year, as a result of that success, we saw the numbers growing double from 68 to almost 120. And uh, some of the students are now progressing to higher education, we have a fashion student who is designing clothes for ASDA for, uh, and uh, the difference what we are noticing in their self-confidence, uh, self-belief uh, and as a result the need percentage had dropped in Asheville from 10.8% at that time to almost less than 4%. But we have the same problem in Mansfield. We need to replicate exactly what we have done in Asheville, in Mansfield. I have had my discussions with the Learning and Skills Council, with other people. We need to set up a center. We need some funds, some capital, some resources. People, government, they all ask for, they all say this is the issue and we have to work together. But I do feel people are not really interested. If I have to get on with it, I have to do fundraising, different activities to find these funds. We are determined. It will happen. It's taking time, but it's really challenging and hard work. But it's a very, very important area. We have heard today many times, out of 2.5 million unemployed, 1 million are young people. And there are a lot of young people in our area who are really being affected by all this. And what's the situation in Hampshire? Well, I mean, it's, I just sit, I suppose, in awe of what Ash has done. It's a totally different circumstance, but we have got an interesting, well, uh, worrying trend. I mean, in terms of the traditional need, if you like, the 16-, 17-year-old, um, Winchester is a very posh middle-class area, and they're in penny numbers, you know, literally single figures. 
But what's a new phenomenon we're noticing the last year or two are the new are the students who've got the level three, who've got some sort of higher education and then no job, who are still under 24. And I think one of the problems with the government's current reaction to unemployment of young people is to think always in terms of basic skills and basic training. And actually these are highly trained people, highly skilled, they just aren't any jobs for them to go to. And that needs a rethink. You know, I'm, we're aware of 22, 23 year old graduates, you know, have nothing to go to.